All right, well, we've got a treat for you all today. Going live with the start of the Tertium Link versus Team F1. Uh, the Tertium Link has two Link players, and Team F1 has, as you can see, at least one Luigi. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. This is going to be good. Glad to see that chat's doing great this evening. Mm -hmm. Good vibes all around. Okay, looks like we are going to be jumping straight into it. And warmer complete. Uh, oh, wait. No, they forgot to be on stages. All right, we're not hopping straight into it. Just, you know, in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, let me go make sure. Yep, okay. So this is going to be uh, Blitz versus DJKK. As you saw, uh, pretty sure that is Fox versus Luigi. Yeah, that's who they locked in. And then afterwards, we are going to get Asa versus Maxwell, which, if I remember correctly, should be Link versus Captain Falcon. Hey there, Rogue. Or Rouge. I don't know how you want to pronounce Okay. Yeah, they're just sitting here, striking stages. Right, so I guess uh, if we have new people in the chat, which I think we do, uh, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, welcome to the Melee Kickstart League. Uh, this is a new player league where it's like a modified crew battle format. Everyone on the team you see on the left, currently the Tertium Link, will fight everyone on the team on the right once in a best of three set. And every game taken by a player uh, gives their team one point. So, for example, if we see Blitz versus Maxwell, and it is, uh, say, 2-1 in Blitz's favor, then Tertium Link will get two points, Maxwell will get one. All right, starting on Final Destination. Uh, also, the way, just to finish it up real quick, winners are determined by points, but more importantly than that, all of the points count directly towards seeding in kind of like a ladder format going into Finals. Uh, point of this is to give new players a great place to, like, start and learn the game with the team. And, you know, just have a good time. Anyways, DJKK going the funny green man, except he's not green right now. <laughs> he blends Matching in with the stage the background. pretty well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how much experience Blitz will have against Luigi. Definitely not the most common character. And with the mobility, uh... <laughs> That could yeah. be that could be bad. <laughs> Especially hard to get practice versus Luigi's at this level. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't just see that in on rank. You really have to go out of your way to like find that. I've wow, played Blitz with my secondary Luigi a lot, actually. All right, all right. So he might know something, but you're talking about a secondary Luigi. There might not be the same thing as DJ KK. <laughs> uh, I will Luigi say... mains. You know, they have the misfire buff, so he's going to be hitting every misfire that he needs to because right. he's a Luigi main. Ah, uh, but see, if we see a misfire go off, and then it says disconnected, then we know something's up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, in all of DJKK's sets so far, he has not hit a misfire. So You're I'm right. expecting some crazy RNG here, just like pulling out of nowhere. He's been charging it up. Yeah, for sure. So we Cas did Casino buff. Mm -hmm. We did see in the last set, um, where we first saw DJKK, uh, we had the question of, can he, like, does Luigi have a chain grab on the spaces? And for the longest time, we thought the answer was no. And then he just chain grabbed the final stock. There's one! <laughs> yeah, it's not like one of those ones that lasts a whole stock and then you can chain it into a kill every time. But you can do it for, like, a few grabs at certain percents, I believe. Mm -hmm. I also, honestly... Luigi's grab game in general against Fox opens up a lot of punish possibilities. Like, you get... Especially on FD, you get a lot going. Yeah, we've seen quite a few, uh, like, up throw down airs and the like so far. We yep. saw DJKK almost do, like, a frame-perfect ledge dash there, and I'm just, like, wondering how much tech skill he's practiced since last time. I assume that the majority of it, as a Luigi player, is going to be directly related to wave dash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, DJKK is looking clean, actually. Mm -hmm. Playing very well. And honestly, the mentality after just getting hit by a raw side B that kills but from Misfire is like, I just don't know where your mental goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, all got caught in the oh. little, like, low traction slide there. I like the- oh, okay, as I was about to say, I like keeping the combos simple just so that you don't get nared. Uh, one goes just a little bit over, 
I guess it's because DJ KK hadn't really shown the option that he was trying for it yet, so maybe Blitz thought that he could overcommit just a little bit. So this Luigi is alive still? Yeah, I'm okay. amazed that up oh, smash still here. Kill. Wow, that was almost like a godlike recovery. Mm -hmm. Real close for sure. Might have just Blitz tried to hang the advantage right away. It was looking like it was heading in uh, in DJ KK's direction, but Blitz took a pretty substantial lead here. But he's going to lose the stock, so it's basically tied up here now. At the end, percent difference. Yeah, not a whole lot of extra credit. As you'd expect from Luigi, just really being able to utilize that ground mobility to like weave in and out with F tilts or grabs. Uh, down smashes too. I feel like it's going pretty well. Okay. Fox hitting with a uh, Luigi Nair of his own. Get this combo. <laughs> oh no! He caught oh, his too low. Jump. Okay. Oh, oh. And just like pixels off of grabbing the ledge there. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see where they. Uh... <laughs> Dang, Asa. Tell me how you really feel about Fox. <laughs> Okay, DJ KK is banning Dreamland. That's actually, I think that's really interesting because I would have assumed that the floaty with the, well, at least decent recovery would want to go there, but maybe it just makes it so hard to catch Fox if he's running around. It's also pretty hard to recover horizontally with, like, without getting hit with those side views. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, they they call about... Yoshi a green dog? <laughs> that's that's Fox. How... No, I see think, that's what I no, thought. I think but they're Yoshi. specifying that no, it was supposed to be uh, supposed to be Yoshi. Okay, though, so Fountain here is an interesting choice. Um, I... So Blitz this, picks, this... picked this, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like normally, so my like I don't play either of these characters read on the <laughs> stages is Fox kill up, Luigi kill sometimes. <laughs> 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 Well, I think um, I, I have a little bit. I have a lot of experience playing um, Blitz. He's a good friend of mine, so oh, sure. like I think the person I play with the most. And I know that he likes to go for edge guards a lot. He really likes going for gimps, going for edge guards. So it makes sense that you know he would want to go for this stage. He also plays a little bit. He likes to prey on people who are uncomfortable. And FOD yeah. is a stage that can make people uncomfortable. True, so I can. True. That's why I think he picked this stage. Yeah, that is why I banned it in that game just now. So <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. And and Kevin thrives in that environment. He's great when people are uncomfortable. All right, what's the grab punish? Oh, okay, just a forward air. And with the uh, we're gonna call that slide off di and not the <laughs> shield slide off. But, you know, I don't know what it's. Shield slide off di. Oh, interesting trade there. Did that get crash right. canceled okay. or was that, that a crash cancel? Okay. Smash. Yep. Oh, he's, he's adapting to DJ KK's zombies, which grab. we're kind of exploiting him. Yeah, I think. Like once you figure out Luigi's recovery pattern, it's easy as a or easier as a fox to like kind of get down there and ledge hog once you like know all his like three moves he used to recover. Yeah, yeah. Still though, that was like the speed of that ledge hog right when he needed to be there was super super good. Oh, down tilt nair. Yeah, good crash cancel down tilt. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, another <laughs> one. Doesn't yeah. get a kill, but like, that, that's so much mental damage right there. Mm -hmm. That you it's can like, just right. get two in a row. I've got momentum. I've got momentum. Let me jump into it. Oh no! <laughs> I honestly it was surprised that wasn't a third. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm seeing Blitz do a lot of adaptations this game, and that's another strength of his. He's pretty good at adapting. Yeah, for sure. Um, like you were talking about, the down bees are just not working out anywhere near as well. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! <laughs> and then Luigi. Yeah, Luigi can just take stocks quick. I mean, you were saying he kills sometimes, but when he does, it's like unexpected and super early. For yeah, it's, yeah, it feels like I, I guess sometimes is probably the best way I have to put it. It's not that he can kill reliably, but there's just like a ten percent chance of you dying off of any random like interaction in neutral. And I <laughs> yeah, never he's quite like understand in that way. <laughs> yeah, like he'll be down in percent. A whole game and still win. Oh, yeah, Blitz definitely had cancel. it there, but just hesitated just a little bit. And against Luigi, that could be really scary. All right, this oh, is how it starts. A good chase. The platform right. just goes a little bit too high. It starts rising and can't get up. up. You have one more chance to live here. Like this is still Blitz. Oh, this still live. was still Blitz. Okay, a good reverse. Basically, even. Yep. Now neutral. He looks a little bit nervous oh, right now. That might be. I would killer. be for sure. He's still gonna he can live oh, here. Oh, yeah, the just barely. 
Once that again, was so off down by, the line. like, Dang, that was a pixels. That was... What a set. I feel like DJ KK's games have all been stressful. The, yeah, you know? <laughs> I remember so many down to the line games from when we saw them last play, the, the makeup games. Oh, you mentioned it, yeah. Man, what a set there. Like, yeah. the final score says absolutely nothing about how close that was. That was, yeah, really, really close. Yeah, good games of both. That was a really sick set. Mm -hmm. Good gameplay. Yep. We'll see plenty more of both of them coming up soon as well. As always I'm good. interested to see Luigi versus Link. That's a matchup I've literally never thought about. Yeah. <laughs> And I think we, we might get it a couple times. I don't think times. I've ever seen it. Because we had a Bees was like the Luigi player back when we used to run Melee in like ye olden days at SSF. Uh, but I don't think we had a Link player. So I don't think I've ever seen that matchup. Now we have two Link players in our kind of realm. Mm-hmm. Get the next set going and striking. Who's our second set? Uh, it is going to be Asa versus Maxwell. Should be Link versus Falcon. This should be a good matchup. We saw Maxwell recently place pretty well in the amateur bracket of level one on Tuesday, right, right. doing a pretty deep run for I think one of their first or second entries. Although I could be wrong because I am not aware. <laughs> uh, that's just the first time I've seen them hanging out in that Discord chat. Gotcha. Oh, wait, testing, testing, okay. Cool. And he, he has a, a really explosive, uh, just like will hit you with a knee out of nowhere kind of falcon, <laughs> which I think is yeah. going to be interesting to see against Link and trying to maneuver around those projectiles. Yeah, Ace is going to have to play really good defense to block that from happening. I, I'm, although I'm almost certain that Ace has some like crazy secret Link rat tech that is going on i'm sure uh, like, yeah. every so often i just see him post a clip in the yeah, discord yeah, and i'm just yeah. like uh-huh i guess yeah. link just does things and people explode <laughs> okay so i believe they're each just searching for each other right now I, I, do you know when uh, we play versus Team F1? Because I really want to see Kirigen versus Barnum. Yeah, you know, uh, I am not sure, but it should be in the event calendar. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. Getting into okay, it. That's what I thought. Getting right into Aces. it. No button check. Oh, I think oh, that, button was, that was the button check. I <laughs> maybe another one of those aggressive button checks we've been seeing. <laughs> those are so funny. I love those. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what happened is that was, in fact, the match started, but they saw that we didn't have it, and it was early enough that they just said, oh, you know, sick. re roll, okay. start again. Man. <laughs> Look at Maxwell not just taking that stock lead off, off camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So we are going to get Link versus Captain Falcon on Dreamland. I feel like this is a stage both of these characters like to strike to and like counterpick to a lot. Yeah, I can see this going Link favor with just the space that you get for projectiles. I just, without like going really high on the platforms or like some really crafty shield play, I'm just curious as to how Captain Falcon consistently can get in. Yeah. I mean, luckily he does have his super, super fast dash speed. And I'm not sure who that is here, in chat, but... but Someone saying Asa hates Falcon, which honestly understandable. <laughs> yeah, and Herp right above that saying if anyone's ready for the gate or for this matchup, <laughs> it's Asa. So this might be. Thanks for the chat secrets, honestly. Let's go Asa. Yeah, let's go Asa. Or no bias, but let's go Asa a little <laughs> bit. No bias. Let's go low tier. <laughs> That's how it'd be. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen Maxwell play, but I've heard some good things. Um, I'm excited to see 
yeah, the couple games that I played against him uh, were... He's pretty solid, for sure. Yeah. Okay, it looks like they were trying to debate whether uh, it was going to be starting from, like, the stock count of where they backed out or go, but they're just restarting fully. So, all right. Link versus Captain Falcon. It is going to be a night of interesting matchups, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think you get that. All around. All right, yeah, Maxwell br breaking the pressure and just landing a solid knee so far. Oh, almost gets the combo. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice little drop down back air there. Ooh, and goes right over the down smash. Yeah, looks oh, like he's ready is... for that other. Yeah, he's. Asa gets back. Asa gets it. back. Oh. No, he he didn't get a second bomb. <laughs> I think you can do. I might be wrong though, actually. So far, it really looks like um, Max is just doing well at picking the specific option that Asa is going for and beating it. I don't know if that's because Asa is consistently picking things that hit ground and not air, and Falcon's just in the air, or if it is like Max being like, you are going to do this. Let me go over it in back air. Yeah, Max is very rarely not like contesting, very rarely like across the stage from Link, which is I think probably more comfort zone for Asa. Mm -hmm. Doing a really good job of just sticking in the face, whether it means taking a couple hits or not. Oh my gosh, that looked like he was maybe going for the uh, the down air like bounce into breaking shield. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's that up smash or up smash oh, up B. Uh oh, Falcon might actually have a real rough time against that, huh? It does have that semi spike angle where if it connects, then it's. Scare I never understand when the bomb explodes and when it doesn't. Yeah, I think it's some some just cryptic. I have no clue how it works. <laughs> I think it's like literally half the time it just like works and half the time it doesn't. I wonder if it's like hit with sword or hit with hilt or something. Hey Dre, if you're in chat, I know you play Link too. Uh, please explain. <laughs> Goes yeah, for the just... Z-Catch and misses. I'm still confused on how you use Z-Catch and how you use Air in that kind of situation. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, the Asa first... told me it's not actually very good when we played friendlies. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. what an F-Smash. Okay, yeah, that... I assume this is just a dead Falcon. Unless oh, Asa overcomplicates Oh, he tries to make it tricky. Yeah, he tried <laughs> to make to it real stylish. I mean, sometimes you need something like that to be like, you know, I'm down a bit. Let me hit something, like, super stylish. Uh, unfortunately, that can come back to bite you. <laughs> but yeah, he's Asa did clean up the stock, up. though. So, mm -hmm. no worries. In a rough position. But he's fighting his way back. Got the tether on deck. Oh, no! I think Aww. that was just supposed to be a ledge dash. Yeah, some unfortunate, uh, like, small misinputs here from Asa are costing him a lot. Max's punish game is just really good, even when he's on stage. Oh, I don't think he recognized he got the jab cancel- or er, jab reset, jab. that's what they call him, yeah. <laughs> it seems like Asa will have an advantage for a little bit, and then just a knee comes out of nowhere and then, like returns it to neutral. Yeah, I've seen right. that happen like four times by now. Uh, by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. It can be really hard to defend against it because you kind of have to preempt it if you're like. Well, you either have to space in a way where you can't really threaten Falcon very well, or preempt it at, with an anti-air. And game one will go to Maxwell. Yeah, it seems like Asa like. He's anticipating Falcon coming in and like not having exactly the right timing for it, and that's why he gets blown up by a knee. Is because Link's startup is so slow that he's predicting and mm -hmm. he's guessing wrong sometimes, and then just gets blasted in the face with a knee. Yeah. Also, real quick from chat, Dre is saying it has to be the first strong hit of up B that hits it, or it doesn't blow up the bomb. Oh, that's oh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh. I, I've, to be honest, I didn't I, even realize that the first hit was strong. I thought it was just like the last hit of up B, but yeah, that's super confusing. I don't feel like <laughs> I'm still confused. Well, that is the watching Link experience. I feel like <laughs> okay. So looks like uh, Yoshi's has been banned. And I'm not sure where Link goes now, because I would have assumed that, like, normally you'd pick Dreamland. He but... says Battlefield. Okay. Which <laughs> I thought was a, a Link counter pick because of how the recovery works. You can't tether to yeah. the, the sweet spot on Battlefield very easily. I so wonder... I've always used it as my Link counter pick. 
yeah, I wonder if he just thinks that it'll be uh, more comfortable to, like, you know, he'll have more platform stuff here that he can go for. And he was kind of getting blown up for the tether recoveries, to be honest. <laughs> so maybe he's yeah. doing that thing, which I know very oh, there we go. Uh, Great, yeah, great forward smash meet read there. That I know very well, though, uh, and being like, well, if I just can't do it, my hands won't do it before my brain says don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like. I kind of like this pick now. You've you turned me around. <laughs> Alternatively, oh, maybe he's just doing it anyway. He's just Holy saying it doesn't matter. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, for sure. Alright, still in a rough spot. Oh my god. Man, it's Falcon with it. Oh my god, that could have led to a, a crazy edge guard, but sets back to neutral, yeah, which I is think honestly just good a for Link. a little bit too much lag. Ooh, nice bomb. Ah, oh, yeah, tried to read a tech in. Yeah. Almost got it. I think when Asa is able to save a bomb or a bo uh, boomerang to set up that wall in neutral, it's going very well. It's just hard when you don't have anything in the way to like oh, prevent Falcon from just getting a knee like that. Yeah, that grab is so, so laggy. It's really... Like, you think it's laggy, but then if you go into like training mode or whatever and test it by holding shield, it's laggier than you think. <laughs> it's really brutal. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so trying to get tricky with it again, didn't end up needing it. Um, honestly, it might have been a good thing that that bomb didn't hit with where Max actually ended up. Right, that's a good point. And one thing Max is doing very well, actually, and this is partially just Link stuff, I think, uh, is keeping Asa cornered. And Ace is having a rough time fighting out of there. It's kind of like uh, sort of the Marth thing where he's really good at cornering people and like holding it, but actually getting out of it is hard because he doesn't have like fast yeah. buttons up close to scrap out with. Yeah, he either gets him out with an F smash or he doesn't get him out. <laughs> oh, does the, oh all my right, god, all he right. does the sacred link tag. Getting under there and grabbing like the backside of Battlefield. Oh, that was no. pretty incredible. Okay, he's at too high a percent, it won't kill. <laughs> Dude, Asa's Link is so entertaining. I'm loving it watching is. it. You can tell there's been a lot of practice on the tech skill. It's like some crazy stuff that I don't even think was possible. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nice spot dodge. It looks like Maxwell wasn't quite ready, just got caught by the move right after, and what an up tilt. Bomb chilling there on the platform. Wow, that was a pretty good conversion off the bomb. That almost this hit me. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Asa, it looks like he's going for Twitter clips on the ledge, and when if they work, that's cool. I kind of want to see him just, like, grab the ledge, though. Cause that's <laughs> yeah, just playing like... for the combo video right now, and I kind of can't sure. wait for it to be released. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We'll have we'll put together a combo video at the end. Ooh, okay. Yeah, just fast falls a little bit past the ledge. Um, yeah, it'll just be Asa. Just the lead yeah, combo <laughs> video is just Asa. <laughs> Just Asa. I was about to ask, what are, what is the combo video going to be called? And then, there you go, got the name already. <laughs> It'll be just Asa, and then one clip of Karajin hitting a dash attack into an up smash. You're right. Yeah. Oh no, I think Asa might have thought that he had a jump there, or just like, dropped an input. He's got a bit of a ways to go, but this is looking a lot more doable than last match, honestly. Yeah. He took a deep breath on the Angel platform, so he can definitely still win this game. If he didn't, he it, it was impossible. Yeah, I do love to see it when people do that. Um, it's like such a good sign that their head's still in the game. Yeah. Oh, like they're not just oh, tuning it out. Knee. And Maxwell's knees this wow. game have been pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. was I gotta say, even with the melee ledge roll, I am amazed that that didn't grab ledge. All right, well. Let's go ahead. Or O oh, Team F1, dang. Mm hmm. Yeah, off to a strong start for sure. For sure. Still uh, a lot of melee to be played, though. Yep, we got uh, seven sets to go, so plenty of time for a comeback. Um, however, up next is Blitz versus Barnum. Barnum has Dave. not yet responded, so we might just jump ahead to Dre versus Maxwell. Oh, wait, maybe? Thanks, back to back. Okay, there we go. Never mind, we do have... Yeah, we see Barnum uh, there. Barnum. Cool. Yeah, I agree, McCurpy Derps. As soon as um, all of those 
Twitter clips that Asa is going for start to come together, it's just going to be it's going to be a sight to behold. Yeah, because there's a, there's a reason why there are consistently clips being posted. It's because <laughs> that that hits a lot of the time. I think maybe nerve or just like uh, yeah something coming into play where it doesn't hit. But honestly, getting hit by an Asa combo that like puts you out of the set the whole time. That's you win. There. Yeah, it just yeah. it actually deals four stocks. You just explode game two. <laughs> And Miss, I'm I'm sure you understand this. Like when you're playing a tournament set, it's different than playing Slippy, huh? Even if you are yeah. still playing on Slippy, like it's different than going on on ranked. Yeah, whenever I play tournaments and I try to do like a Z drop thing or like a, a weird turn up combo, I always drop it and then get embarrassed and never do it again. Yeah, exactly. I'll it's like right back. Nerds come into play. Yeah. Uh... That's why this league is so cool, though, is because it gives people like chance a chance to like interact with that tournament atmosphere you know it's just a little bit different uh i think someone in chess okay, a, a spacey there. ditto uh i believe Herpsa. so barnum as far as i'm aware plays falco asa i love that line i just went for style because i don't know what to do <laughs> it's like honestly a job that. tattooed somewhere yeah <laughs> let's go into the archive looks like some hand warmers mm -hmm. uh we saw Barnum get some pretty big level ups just while they were playing, and now with this practice, I'm really excited to see where they are now. Because uh, we see even wave up, dashes uh, coming out that just like weren't coming out uh, their first game that I saw. Just as a heads up, commentators, I'm unfortunately going to drop the frame rate a little bit further. <laughs> Let me okay. know if it's like <laughs> unwatchable or anything, but I'm having a little bit of upload issues with OBS, so hopefully that'll help. Okay. Um, Speaking of, let me know how it is in chat, by the way. <laughs> On stream, it looks pretty good. Okay, cool. Uh, Discord is, like, watchable. Okay. Yep, that is... probably the best compromise we're gonna hit. <laughs> I think, Asa, I think I like this tournament's, like, entry, because you get, like, a whole... so many sets that are only for seeding that... really, like, being nervous and, like, just figuring out how to play with your mentality is... is something you can do in that time. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a big part of, uh, why we do it this way. It's a good format. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dre and Maxwell starting to strike as well. Whoever came up with it, probably yeah. pretty talented. <laughs> Round of applause yeah. for that anonymous person that came up with this format. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, so to be fair, half of a decent amount of the format was me, but uh, it's actually Dr. Dre, the link we're going to be seeing in the next game, who came up with like the point system. Uh, oh, <laughs> was kind of a patch. It was a patch fix because in the Skullgirls League we ran into this issue where, because uh, we were just doing okay, everyone on one team goes up, and then if you lose a set, you're just like out of the cruise, and that ended up not going very well for a format like this where you have you know like stronger players and brand new players and stuff like that. Uh, and then Drake came up with this for the Strive League, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Okay, this might be like this forever. <laughs> this might be like a Dre buff where like they made the points, so they like get an advantage somehow, you know. Oh, you're right. I do like seeing uh the longer hand warmers that we've been getting out of players to get ready. I think it's always wise to take more time than you think is necessary to like really make sure you're playing your best when the nerves are, are hitting you. Mm -hmm. Like you, I think there's a lot of times where you can look back and say that you spent too little time in hand warmers and that when you lose because of something like that, it really hurts. Yeah, yeah. you're like, oh, I just was like a little bit, a little bit off. I could have just taken the extra couple seconds. Yeah, like every ledge dash or like weird uh, like wave dash at a shield that you do in a hand warmer is one more that you hit in game. Mm -hmm. And it's like important, especially when you're kind of starting out trying to deal with your mentality. Yeah. I think we should be getting started here pretty soon though. Looks like Barnum is basically good. All right, yeah, looks like we'll be hopping straight on over to it. Let's say in, come on. Love to see it. He's ready for this match. All right, here we go. Second spacey ditto of the night, I believe. Double F tilt, up tilt. Yeah. I mean. 
if, if there's anything that I remember from the first Barnum set that I saw was the Barnum B. I think coined by Mucho. <laughs> just like, <laughs> the, it goes a little bit further than most people and like leads to a punish. Uh, and, like Jimmy saw right there. for them that time, it did not go a little bit further. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, Falco, unfortunately the bird does not fly. Uh, not the greatest at getting back to the stage when he's knocked off. That was a sick punish though by Blitz. Like overall, that stock, he just cleaned it up really fast. Yeah, for sure. Right, also, I guess we talked about it last set, but not this one. Uh, so, the way that the Kickstart League works, uh, teams are, like, roughly seeded into, like, stronger mid-level and weaker players. Um, because we do have quite a few people who are, like, brand new to Smash and competitive... Well, like, whether competitive or just in general. Um, and Barnum, I believe, is one of the players who is, like, brand new to Smash. So... They didn't even, like, play casually combos. in the like, so the stuff that they're able to do already is really impressive. I'm seeing some actual, like, real shuffle, uh, L-canceled dares, mm -hmm. and some, like, intuitive pillar combos and a good down smash. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, but I'm, I'm surprised to hear that Barnum is, uh, brand new based off what I'm seeing on the screen, actually, like... And, uh, ASDI yeah. down tech on Shine? Yeah, they, they are, bring I will propane. say, they are, are you talking about Shasta Soda? So, oh, what are we talking uh, about here? Barnum is a bit yeah. of a lab monster. I know them as, like, starting, I think, with FGC games, playing Zato in Strive. Oh, so. I'm so sorry for them. <laughs> oh, that made it work. <laughs> yeah, I think being oh. a lab monster in the slippy era of melee is actually, like, kind of a, a hidden strategy. It's like, if you just, like, can practice tech, you can win a lot of games that you, you probably couldn't win otherwise. That was actually super close. It looked like uh, that back air hit from Fox like frames before Falco's did, and that definitely would have killed the other way. There we go. Propa Cleans brings the, the propane in chat. Interested about Shasta Soda. Yeah, I was going to have to call you guys' attention. We, we should talk about that. How do we feel about Shasta Soda? Okay, but during this break, like, <laughs> Shasta Soda is actually my go-to. It, it's, so, it's so much cheaper. It's just like... The, the the return you get on a Shasta, like, you know, that's heads and heads and shoulders above other soda. Fire, you can get a three liter from Dollar Tree. Also their Tiki <laughs> Punk is unparalleled. There's not a name brand that even has a soda like that. <laughs> no yeah, doing it like Shasta is. I don't drink soda anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of coffee though. Yeah, Herb says the Shasta meta's never been more alive, and I honestly I'm I'm seeing it. I get it, honestly. Yeah. Okay, looks like we are going to Battlefield for the next game. And a quick ban and select phase for once. It can happen. <laughs> <laughs> a tertium, or is it tertium? Tertium uh, link on the board. Link. True. Yeah, that's yep. a good showing from Blitz. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so, uh, Jaxus, you were talking about the format earlier, so Blitz is actually the... I believe he's the top seeded player of this pool, so we're going to want to see him take a lot of games if he can. Yeah, from his team for sure. Um, yeah. I believe it's him and Maxwell, I believe. Yeah, I'm really, I've am really. i been really excited for Maxwell uh, Blitz. I think that's going to be a good like talk of the table matchup. That's going to be a good match, It yeah. does also mean that any uh, like if Barnum can take a game here, that can also be a pretty big swing for their team uh, in his favor. In their favor, sorry. Blocks the up smash and gets Whoa. a punish there. It's yeah, always... and we did see that with uh, DJ KK. Middle seed and then took some a couple games off of Blitz. Yeah. Wow, ripping a forward smash just right in the middle of the stage and gets a kill for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first stock goes to Barnum. Love to see it. This time we don't have a low tier, but we do still have an underdog to root for. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice back end coverage. Tier. Yeah, okay, technically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bitter or anything, but I tend to root for whoever isn't playing Fox. <laughs> I'm not biased or anything, yeah, but no bias, no my bias. homie, so I'm. But <laughs> I think full uh, bias. I hate the bird. No. <laughs> <laughs> Barnum is uh, actually doing like a very good job of staying at kind of this mid range where yeah. they can threaten laser or some sort of like 
sort of air to air. Like they're getting a lot of uh, forward airs that I'm assuming are supposed to be neutral airs. So unfortunately the reward is a little bit different, but they're still covering yeah. basically just as well. Yeah, there's a couple right. good shuffle nares. But where they can also, you know, threaten like back off and throw a laser. Or if they think you're going to commit from the ground, here comes another forward smash. Yeah. I think it is pretty big. It's just being able to get like one or two forward smashes that are not expected really swings the matchup because it's so much damage, gives you so much stage control, and like Ooh, if it hits, yeah, you're just gonna kill like that. Mhm. Mm and he's going for weak moves into it, like a jab, and that. I mean, it's not true, but it like if you're not expecting it, it can be really good anyway. Yeah, yeah. it's like nervous true. Yeah, nervous true. Exactly. That's perfect. It's a mix-up, but, like, you're not reacting to jab into, like, a whatever frame. Well, I guess forward smash, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you can crouch cancel it, but you have to be expecting it. Okay, <laughs> just barely stays on stage again. There have been a couple I'm close calls you, with that. Barnum side beats oh. just act different. They don't I go think, off. They yeah. are either really long or really short. It's crazy. All right, well played by Blitz. Yeah, for sure. A good I job from both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was cool. Barnum's see... Falco. I can't believe it's as new as y'all are saying. It's yeah. it's, it's really, really impressive good. for sure. It's like night and day from what we saw a week ago. Mm -hmm. They're ready to join the Netplay Falco ranks, honestly. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, up next we are going to get Maxwell, you know, the Captain Falcon, up against the other Link. I believe, unless Dre goes Yoshi or something. <laughs> oh, by the way, one of the team up players is asking what order their matches will be. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and, um... Hmm. And get that posted. Okay, so we're seeing... Dre goes to Dreamland. Is this... Dre's Fox or Dre's Link? I can't remember. Uh, I believe Link. I don't know if Dre has a Fox. The only characters I've heard about oh, from yeah. him are uh, Link and Yoshi. And I have yet to see the Yoshi. I think I mixed up Dre with someone else. Just, you know, do the good old double check that it's not live and we're just chilling here. <laughs> okay. That's why you refresh, because I was watching Rays and then uh, it, I hit refresh and it disappeared from my spectate list. <laughs> Dude, I just want some Shasta now. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> Alright. And the warmers are live. I'll go ahead and get set fives stuff striking. The question is will we see them be aggressive during these hand warmers? <laughs> Yeah, the power move. Will they start fighting each other? Wait, I'm... Did I just post that twice? I am a genius. So yeah, we're about to find out if the Dre point buff actually comes into play. Are we, are we on stream right now, or are we paused? Uh, no, we're on stream. Oh. Hey, what's up, chat? <laughs> I just realized I was muted while giving some really hard-hitting analysis. I like seeing Dre practicing the tech, because I know Asa and Dre have been working a lot on some, like, some classic Link tech. And seeing Dre, Dre execute, excuse me, execute on it in, in hand warmers is, is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Good, they've been training Link stuff. Yeah. Yep. That's like the in the, in the link cord too, which is like the character discords are like the greatest resource you can get as a evolving Smash player. 
Yeah, right. I could be mistaken, but I played uh, Dre in bracket at SSF a few weeks ago, and I think um, they hadn't, they like weren't sure about a lot of like technical stuff. So it is really cool to see that they're like learning it over the course of this league. It's only been like two or three weeks, and they're already like learning some kind of advanced tech, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, Dre, his he's played Smash Ultimate um, like an okay amount casually. He's actually like a Tekken player first, so Kazuya, yeah. you know. Wow. But. Uh, <laughs> He, I believe that that was one of his first times with Melee oh. non-casually, was that tournament. Uh, yeah. I'm actually really curious what his current control scheme is, because... Is he a boxer, or is he a... Uh, no, he's he's controller, but, you know, he's used to Smash Ultimate, so he didn't realize you couldn't just remap controls in Melee, so he sure. had them remapped in Dolphin. So, oh, huh. uh, I know that he said he was going to try and, like, swap them around so that he could go to, like, in-person tournaments and enter. But I believe yeah. he had, like, for example, a uh, shield on the B button and stuff like that. So he what? might be going through, like, an extra adaptation period right now. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, I, I think... I know a lot of Ultimate players who have, like, the grimiest controller setups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely, uh... I used to do, like, tilt stick, Y grab, uh... L jump was what I yeah, used the, for years. This Whoa. Montana local legend would would play with all their face oh, buttons crap. would be jump and then the triggers would be attack and special and I just don't know how oh. to do that, dude. What? So that like I can see it, but yeah, I just like I can see it if you started with that. Trying to unlearn muscle memory for that sounds like the worst thing yeah. in the world. <laughs> it's like watching, whenever they go to a new setup and they're like, sorry, I gotta, I do my control set, it's like watching a horror movie. <laughs> also, also the finger about is about to be up Dre has hit the set. Yeah, honestly, if you're a Link player and like, you kind of know how to put bombs out, I think the second thing you should learn is up the ledge. Because mm -hmm. you, you can get, it's like a peach down smash or like, you know, a fox raw, raw F smash. You can get a lot of kills just doing that on people that aren't expecting it. Yeah, like, fortunately for Max, more than half of them have hit into stage, just barely, yeah. but... Yeah, I don't know if y'all are noticing this, but, like, the way Dre is playing this in comparison to the way Asa was playing it is, like, Dre is playing the projectile game a lot more, and Max is respecting it and dash dancing instead of just like running in and being him in the face. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Also a little Max bit unfortunate go. there. I think that a like yeah. an up air dodge into tether would have probably recovered, but we're seeing Max go enough. above the projectiles with like down airs. Mm -hmm. And being a lot more effective than trying to like run at them with an aerial, but uh, oh, yeah, I... it's interesting to see that two links would inspire such different play styles. Yeah, right. Ooh, there's that's gonna kill. <laughs> that's the like up That's what you're looking for. Yeah, Dre just going for the bread and butter stuff. Those up Bs, really effective if your opponent's not ready for them. Bomb to platform, comboing into your own getup attack is so sick. <laughs> like, honestly, that's insane. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, missing a knee, but gets the grab again. Up B just barely misses. It's kind of like... I feel like I'm gonna keep making this comparison, but it kind of is like Peach, where if if it hits a couple of times, you really want to do it more, and that's kind of a bad habit to like want to up E from ranges where yeah. you know kind of is yeah. a little bit out of range. So it's you a mean... double whammy of it's working for you, so you want to do it more, HR. but also it's working for you, so they're looking for it more. And yeah, there are some tools where that is just like the worst thing that can happen is your opponent is looking for it. Yeah, Miss, are you talking about down smashes with Peach? Yeah, not up yeah. these. Up these are a little bit uh, <laughs> situational. <laughs> right. What flavor of Powerade is that, Jax? Is yeah, that like we're a all, weird the Powerade? Line, you know. Normally I go for orange, line. but mix it up. Okay. The mix also up. Also, partially because Walmart has just been basically out of it for a couple weeks now, at least when I go there. Yo, come on, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, but if you want Dollar Tree, you can get a three, stuff, for real. You get a three liter Shasta at Dollar Tree <laughs> if you just there, honestly. Alright, when do we get the Shasta sponsorship? <laughs> Alright though, Dre going to FD. Shasta and, Smash Fest? You know. <laughs> I, I like the FD pick from Dre though, because like you were saying, uh, Max was going over a lot of the projectiles. And this way, the only way you can do that is if you full commit to something that can get anti-aired. Yeah. 
Honestly, I think up B and up B can actually anti-air if Max doesn't space it properly. Nice. Yeah, reading some of the stuff. I want to see. Yeah, like Dre's doing. Just calm down a little bit. Just play some bread and butter bomb boomerang gameplay. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, Ooh, if that hit tether, him, that was I amazing. Laugh so hard. You, you you flashback to Asa being your sensei and telling you you can do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know they trained that for at least like 30 minutes. At <laughs> and least. like the Link Dojo just gets that inset. I love that. Yeah. You're just surrounded by thousands of broken pots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, quick knee there. Luckily not too much off of it at zero. I think he tried to read a roll. Andre was just more than happy to be like, no, I am shielding. <laughs> Stay away from me. I think Trey's having trouble establishing stage control. We see a lot of times Trey gets corner cornered and then Ooh. tends to get a reverse player. Man, I was surprised by that too. That does. Yeah. Got it here though. <laughs> nice. Good intuition there to hit him with the the boomerang reset to like get him in range for your up mm -hmm. And Link can really exploit that against Falcon because Falcon's recovery isn't that great and he has to like ascend and he doesn't sweet spot very well either. So like Link Link can actually take huge advantage of that if he keeps set setting up those situations, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That this does feel like probably the matchup where that comes into play the most, off the top of my head anyways. Yeah. Uh, eh, like, relevant matchup, you know, so to speak. Oh! Good good second jab oh. there, covering him. What's that jab? I don't know whether it's an ult thing or maybe a fighting game thing. I know an, a lot of ultimate players at this kind of level really like getting into the corner because it gives them more space to combo across the stage. And it looks like Dre's doing that, but without like Link having consistent combos, it, it, it feels hard to get stage control from mm -hmm. that kind of position. I think it's partially that, and partially he's trying to stay at a range uh, away from Falcon where, you know, he's not just getting smothered. Yeah, sure. But the problem yeah. is Falcon covers so much space that if you're like, ah, oh, he's sort of near center stage, then <laughs> the spacing becomes, oh no, I am against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, like that right there. He's like trying to back off and just yeah. like get some room to breathe. Because you're Link. You want to throw the things at the Falcon. Right. Oh, well, that was a little possibly blade. an up the opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think he landed during the startup of down air. Up throw oh, knee. And that's really laggy. Knee. Okay. Oh, Ooh. unfortunate. Yeah, just slightly early. Yep. Good up B though, calling out the roll. Ooh, trying oh, to call cool. out another one, I think. <laughs> yep. I think, yeah, there's a, a big difference between Dre's like, reactive uppies versus the proactive ones. Because mm -hmm. I feel like the reactive ones are really guaranteed to hit, and if, that's where we've seen a lot of the kills this this game. Yeah. The proactive ones are hard because it's, it's, you're kind of just like 50 50 ing whether yeah, they roll in or they go for a jump knee. Yeah, you're just. It's the equivalent of just, like, doing a smash attack in neutral. It can work, and when it does, it pays off, but, like, yeah. when it does And then it'll work like that one time, and then you're nervous, and you're like, well, that worked already, so I'll do it again. It's a, it's a bad feedback loop, but I guess, yeah. Yeah, that, that one's a confirm, too. I believe. I don't know if you can tech... The bomb? Oh the my whole... gosh, so close. Bomb killed him. Honestly, I think if he doesn't jump there, he lives. I'm not sure, because he, he, he has so much top. momentum. Well, you can't die off the top if you're not in hit stun. Un well, in the newer Smash games. I don't know for sure about Melee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, can someone from the Tertium Link team tell me what your name means? I literally have no idea what Tertium means. I thought it meant three. Like, a, a, there's three, there's not three Link I'm, players, but three of them and they well, play Link. See, it's like yeah, Team two. F1. Uh, they were Team 3. Oh, wow. Okay. Before being named. Yeah, we actually had a couple of those. <laughs> Because we got Team 3, the Tertium Link, we've got Team Dre hits F1. Dre the chat. They're playing Koi. Oh my god. <laughs> and we've got Team <laughs> Uh, who was the last team to come up with a team name. They have five H's in their name. I love that. And they were that. Team 5. We, uh... We're seeing Asa versus Barnum, right? Yep. Okay, I'm Sorry. wondering how the Twitter combo gameplay is going to work against a Falco. Especially my, the one that plays more grounded like that. Yeah, my theory is that um, Twitter combo gameplay works really good against Spacey's because everybody's trained their combos against Spacey's, but Falcon is a little bit different, and that's why I think you yeah. heard Asa say that um, he didn't know what to do against Falcon because he might have been using his Spacey game against Falcon, but even though they're all fastballers, it's a little bit different when you're fighting Falcon. So you might see those Twitter combo clips actually 
connect a little bit more this this set. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this should be right. yeah, Barnum yeah, versus Barnum. Oh, I'm getting some echo. The Barnum, so Falco versus Asa Link. Let me get that into the thing. This can be a good set. Mm -hmm. You know what might be cool, Jax, is if we did like some sort of set of the night. That could be cool. Yeah. So this week in particular, we've got so much going on, I'm not sure I can add that to the workload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to start, I went ahead and got Dre versus DJKK, which is our next matchup, uh, to go ahead and start striking. And Dre banned Luigi. I do like the Luigi ban. I think it's probably smart. <laughs> Just, just to make sure, I'm gonna re-roll and watch the other perspective here. Yeah, Blitz, me and you, but it's gonna be... I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be playing Ganon. That's gonna be a match Okay, yeah. Thanks, Lippy. Luckily, uh, we are still very early in it. Alright, Asa versus Barnum. <laughs> yeah, good to see no stocks have gone, and it's relatively... actually exactly even. Mm-hmm. Yep. Five percent apart now, you... <laughs> Oh my gosh, bombs, I guess, can sort of act as a wall to eat lasers. And, oh, just slightly too high, that's unfortunate. But, hey, Barnum closing out the first stock there in a rough spot of their own, though. Live in, though. Mm-hmm. Which, definitely not the easiest thing is the bird. For sure. Oh! Asa called that out so hard. You saw him crouch like three seconds before yeah. Barnum walked up. <laughs> I, I think he was going for... It, it's like sort of an option select. Like you could call it one. Because uh, you crouch cancel if he does come down with down air. Um, right. And then if, uh, you know, Falco drops and does pretty much anything else, then yeah, just up eight. Let it rip. <laughs> right. Ooh, nice pick up off the boomerang. And Barnum... He's having some trouble with the boomerang itself, but the rest of the time it looks like they're actually, like, not feeling too unconfident here. Yeah, and their laser game is not letting Asa set up projectiles. Oh no! Oh. Asa got the edge guard, but just didn't quite make it back. And Bart yeah. was just dancing around them. <laughs> I love watching the different ways that people use their uh, respawn invincibility, or their opponents. Yeah. I think it's interesting in a matchup like this where there's not like setup to do, like you don't pull turnips or, uh, you know, Charge stage position. Or like that. Yeah. yeah. So I think it really is like expressive of what the character, what the player's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might see Asa try to set up bombs, those ones that like awkwardly sit on the platform and stuff. Right, right. I always forget that those still like are active technically. <laughs> yeah, they're so weird. Oh man. Oh my Down god, there. nice combo. Great conversion from Barnum. That was sick. And it looks like in this match uh, so far, it's actually been Asa who has been getting outcamped by Barnum, which, like, Falco lasers are really good. Also, I like how that arrow was so weak it didn't break the Firebird. <laughs> uh, I, arrows in this game are wild. But this is... Oh. It's still super, super close. So close. Uh, yeah, Asa is always so ready for an unsafe space. Oh. If you approach unsafely as a space, oh, 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 all right. What yeah. the? Asa That's got the, the slide Oh my god. Herb and Chat is making a good point that uh, it's it's hard to like a, as a newer player. You can, you can get a lot more nervous against matchups that aren't like good on paper, but are just things you haven't seen before. Yeah, right yeah, for sure. I think that can play a lot into your mentality, just like. Knowing a game plan versus Fox is pretty easy uh, at a lower level, but like, you know, knowing what to do against a link that you've never seen before, <laughs> that's a little bit tougher. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, I'm curious how much Team F1 just like talked about it beforehand, but yeah, uh, yeah. I wonder if Barnum went in with the plan of I am going to laser the green dude, or if it was more <laughs> of like, well, you know, I'm over here. <laughs> 
one way or another, it was. That was so close. Fun. Yeah. Just, that really came down to the wire. Mm -hmm. It was right at the very end, like a single interaction. That was a shine up smash. Shine up smash, dude. Can we talk about how that third hit of jab just hit behind Asa and stuffed the forward smash? Oh. <laughs> Too much wild stuff going on. For sure. All right, yeah, bomb trade there. That's like probably in Link's favor. He is definitely the heavier one. Oh, and Barnum getting a little bit stuck on the platform. Cleans it up with an F smash, though. I will never get over how long that forward smash is active and how fast it kills. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. It's like recoiling in my chair watching it hit. <laughs> oh, tried to go for a, like... I think that that was supposed to be a dash two ledge. Oh, exploiting oh. the feather, not sweet spotting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super good edge guard there from Barnum. And yeah, now really Asa's good intuition. Gotta, yeah, Barnum has a big lead now. To, to and the way they're trading stocks, that's gonna go. You know, that's gonna be really good for Barnum. Yeah, a stock lead in this matchup seems like it means a lot more in a, than a stock lead in like a uh, a spaces matchup where they can go so fast. Yeah. You've seen these stocks take a really long time to churn out, and I think that, yeah, getting a stock up is, is pretty big. Ooh, yeah, into the bomb. That is basically the exact positioning Asa wants to edge guard against Falco there. Getting a lot of extra credit, too. Mm -hmm. I will say, uh, okay, yeah, good up be out of shield there. Yep. Punish That's how you deal with the F smashers. Out of shield stuff, shield grabbing it, wave dash out of shield. And suddenly, what? this is a very, very close game. Even stocks and percents. Asa's last oh, stock was just so clean overall. Yeah. All right, good wait from Barnum. Didn't get antsy and like run into the late hit of that up B. Uh, I will say one thing. I kind of want to see Barnum. Um, Maybe not go for more here, because it's one of those tech skill things where pulling it out, like, you know, unlocking the ability mid-set is probably not going to happen. But uh, their, like, laser camp game has been really good as oh, long as Ace has been miss, trying miss. to move. But they haven't yeah. gotten, like, the low lasers. All right, zero uh, percent. Dog, okay. Even? Yeah, we got a bomb on once, <laughs> and still a one percent game. <laughs> Roll through the grab, and good crouch cancel there. Yeah, recognize that Barnum's been going for a lot of forward smashes, and he can just tank that. Yeah, Asa's crouch cancel game is working out a lot. He knows that the down smash is going to lead to a lot of conversions for him if the Falco doesn't approach properly. Mm -hmm. Down at, Oh, I like the shine to cover like tech in place and then just get out of there before it hits. That was scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this no. is tense. No. Not That's a like bird. that. Oh my god. Oh my. Another set where this game count really lies. I feel like that was a really, really close down to the line kind of situation. Yeah, for sure. All right, Tertium Link closing the gap a little bit. Three to six. Okay, so Dre and DJ KK, I'm guessing, got distracted watching that set uh, and have not <laughs> struck yet. <laughs> but we'll be getting into that here in just a second. And this is going to be Link versus Luigi round one. There are two Links, so we are going to see it twice. Alright, let me make sure I've got... You could see that set that Asa just... His game plan versus Spacey's was really solid. Yeah. Like, he knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. When nerves are on the line, it's really important that you have something you can kind of fall back to. Of just, like, not getting stuck panicking is, is so important. Yeah, like those crouch cancel down smashes and stuff like that. Oh, Asa saying he had no game plan. Didn't look like it to us, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Asa there, you just have to pretend like you had a game plan, and then you'll look so much cooler, All you planned. know? It's fine. It's like when Luigi's say that they knew that Misfire was going to happen. You, like, you just have to you just have to pretend sometimes. 
Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna say? They went for it. It worked. <laughs> Clearly yeah, they Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> There is definitely some confusion happening over in this Discord chat. <laughs> hey, that's why this is a new player league though, right? Make exactly. sure everyone uh, figures it out as it goes along. All right, we do I'm have to use this opportunity up. to take a quick break, so I'll be right back. Yeah, sure, no worries. I'm just realizing. So we are running slightly behind. Uh, we're actually supposed to start the third match of the night, which is Rat Team versus Team Uh in one minute <laughs> so it sure is a good thing that we have luigi versus link up twice before that happens <laughs> okay though so let's see looks like the stages banned so far are dreamland yoshis and battlefield so at least uh for you know to purposes at least the big stages are gone yeah they go fun here mm -hmm. i guess that checks out Okay, they are in Slippy Searching now, so we will be good to start here in just a second. When you first see it pop up though, of course, it will still be the Slippy Enforced button check. <laughs> which... This is uh, DJKK versus Dre, right? Yep, that's correct. And then after this, we will get into the final bit of this match. Uh, so the way it works is the last three sets are going to be... Uh, you can sort of see people ordered by seed, like, roughly. It's not very precise um, on the screen down there. But So the last three matches are going to be Blitz versus Maxwell, Asa versus DJKK, and Dr. Dre versus Barnum. So that should be cool to see. Battlefield again. Uh, I I'm wondering how Dre... Uh, reacts to the battlefield pick because I know we saw Asa hitting well, some crazy sweet uh, spots. They're going to fountain actually. This is just oh the, oh yeah, yeah this the, is what the forced totally random forgot. stage. Button check. Hey y'all, I am back. Welcome. All right, cool. Yeah, I just want to say these teams are like super evenly matched. There's like no lopsided matchups here. Like even though we've seen some two O's, like they've been close two O's. Yeah, it, you know, two O, but it was close though. No, but for real. <laughs> No, but for real, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, last stock, two O's, and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. And, alright. We got the taunt from one of them, which means that uh, DJ KK is ready to go. The aggressive taunt. This is a new level. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so if... If DJKK gets an edge guard with wave dash taunt, I will give their team an extra point. Not really, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. And I say not really, don't do it, because if he's watching, he will try. <laughs> okay, so this, uh, like we were talking about earlier, have either of you ever seen this matchup played before? You know, the crazy thing is I've, I have seen this matchup played before. All right. Not not at a high level. I don't know why I saw it. I just remember seeing like a, I think some streamer was playing a secondary Link versus a Luigi sure, out of nowhere okay. on Slippy. Gotcha. Maybe it was Axe. I can't remember. All I've right. definitely seen it at like 3 a.m. with some like Smash Fest in my backyard type of <laughs> vibe, you know. But <laughs> well, so far, it looks like DJ KK. I, I guess I hadn't really thought about it too much. All the extra mobility from Luigi, um, I could see that being pretty rough for Link. It Now, granted, it's if you can stop him from, you know, getting that first slide, 
then it's probably not too bad, because Luigi has great mobility, but it's pretty committal. He's, like, throwing himself at you. Um, so, you know, if you already have a bomb or whatever out, then... <laughs> just slides under the up B, that little, like, upward angle, and kicks him with the forward so All right. Yeah, that was sick. So, yeah, yeah. so far, this has just been the story of, like... They're going roughly even on stage, but DJ KK's conversions into kills have been kind of absurd. Yeah, DJ KK just has probably one of the best punish games of anybody I've seen play at all in this league. Like, DJ KK's punish game is really solid. Sure, and it's like, it's not even necessarily combos and the like, it's just really, really well positioned single moves a lot of the time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the wave dash forward tilt gets him so much mileage in almost every matchup I've seen him play. Yeah. Almost like a Samus. Yeah, yeah you know? <laughs> like a hug Samus, he's looking like. Yeah, as uh, Herp is mentioning in the chat, DJ KK does have a lot of, like, general Smash experience. So right. I think that that's what's showing through here a lot, definitely. Yeah. Like, hey, Mucho Man's in the chat. What's up, Mucho Man? Hey. That up air not quite killing. I think DJ KK has been doing a good job of being aware of how uh, how dangerous Link's uh, down air can be. For sure, whenever, yeah. Whenever Link's above him, he always tries to get out of the way with a wave dash or like uh, f falling through a platform. It's, it's very smart to do. <laughs> and Luigi, one of the few characters... He went for it. <sighs> yeah, he, he went did. for it all. But, uh, probably one of the few characters who can just get all the way out of there and not have to like, even worry about any, like, DI mix-ups. Ah, I guess falling horizontal angle mix-ups. Yeah, Dre not confident in that. Wow, good recovery. Man. Oh, good slide off. Both of these teams kind of have some clippers right now. Seeing D uh, DJ KK kind of feeling himself, we saw ASIC going for some stuff against uh, Maxwell. Ooh, um, yeah. I'd like to see it. Yeah, that's I don't why think you gotta DJ respect the down like general smash info like the way he's recovering with luigi shows that he has specific luigi melee tech like he yeah. has mapped this stuff out the way he's doing his recoveries just shows me that definitely i actually want to see more luigi link this is i, I like love this matchup now we're gonna get to see it one more time so yeah, i'm very excited i love i've been really enjoying seeing how asa and dre play differently I like Me seeing too. how two people can, like, kind of come from the same character, but have different ways of approaching matchups. Alright, it's that time of the night. We're getting Link versus Luigi on Dreamland. <laughs> okay, well, the next game's gonna start at midnight. Uh... <laughs> Not with the way that DJ KK is killing, though. That is... yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? This happened last time, too. Yeah, th this happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard because there is just a, another stage called dreamland <laughs> yeah and like it, you know it looks pretty similar it has wispy so uh again to reiterate dre has like limited casual experience in melee at most so i think they should just play it <laughs> yeah is that cool is that chill <laughs> If they both gentlemen's here, then, you know, I won't stop them. Are they saying anything in Discord or anything? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So... He's uh, talking about sock hamsters in the chat. What do we think about sock hamsters? Yeah, he's, it's the sequel to Shasta. Yeah, I don't know. I'm less favorable on sock hamsters than I am on Shasta. I Not think I've bought crafting. more Shasta than I've bought sock hamsters, and I don't, like, buy a I, lot of Shasta. I would hope. Yeah. All right, they're doing it. <laughs> no. Wait, is this real? Yeah, they're doing it. Real. They just oh agreed in chat. <laughs> let's fucking go. Let's go. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, uh, in tournament, there is this thing called the gentleman's rule, which is if all players in a set agree to a stage, you can go there. That's so sick, uh, actually. Not all tournaments this, allow it, but we're just cool like that. This can be overridden by a TO. For example, if you are playing Ultimate and you try and play a game on Great Cave Offensive, I will yell at you because that game will take 12 hours. But <laughs> uh, I'm not too worried about that here. This stage has incredibly tiny blast zones. Yeah, not only that, but I feel like the 
the possibilities for wall combos and uh, and weird janky stuff with the hole in the middle. I, and I, the bombs. Can't yeah, forget those. I'm so into it. This stage is like one of my favorite casual stages. Very, very partial to the the this stage going gentlemen's, either this or Corneria, but man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a throw. Like on man, the yeah, starter. Really DJ KK is going crazy. A ghost through the wall. <laughs> alright, alright. I like how Dre is just kill or chilling there for a minute with his face in the bomb. <laughs> yeah. This is so appropriate for Luigi Link. This is so appropriate. <laughs> it is, it really is. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Let's see if they get that. Oh my time. god. Alright, no apples this time. Barely living think, there. Is this one of the stages where you can tether too low and you just die? I think so. I, I wouldn't be surprised if so. But I, I don't know. Man, Dre just getting kind of pinballed around here. <laughs> Those blocks I'm so made the happy. nair last After so After Pokemon long. Stadium got frozen, I've been missing all my stage jank. So well, hey, you got, is really happy. you got plenty here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good coverage on the ledge roll with that boomerang. Oh, and Dre oh, was oh, ready. Ow. He good knew read. exactly what was happening there. I like this stage testing their ability to, like, react to a wall tech, because it's not like a, a skill you practice a lot. Yeah, for sure. It only really comes up when you're trying to, like, a uh, ledge tech. That's versus, uh, super wow. unfortunate, actually, because Dre did the correct survival DI and held up. If he had not held up, he would have smacked into... <laughs> Thanks, Taking thirty eight percent from that bomb. <laughs> yeah. Why is the state? I don't take not from the favor. For real. Oh. Okay. He almost fell through the floor there because the up B hits a little bit below you, <laughs> <laughs> and he could have just died for that. Yeah. This is especially with the bomb still on the screen. This is a very doable game for either person here. No. <laughs> oh my god. Anything could happen, folks. Alright, the bombs have been cleared for now. But... Ooh, oh, Dre has using stage a wispy to... oh, Give me one second, I, I gotta get off cast, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no worries. Alright. Got... Yeah, Dre is just sitting here, like, he's clearly trying to hold his distance. He does not want to be too close. He wants, yeah, he wants to run away from Luigi a little bit right oh, now. No. Okay, yeah, back air sending the wrong way gives Dre one extra lease on life. I am amazed he didn't go Oh my for god, he might there. get killed by wispy apples. Oh my. Okay, yeah, there's no more apples left. Uh oh. I would not have tried that with that bomb there. Dre yep. knows his hitboxes better than I do. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh my god. That's the worst way to go. Pineapple right. on HD pineapple is like, that's... I don't know. Unfortunate for sure. Okay, though. Uh, with that game complete... Yeah, that was honestly a pretty high-quality game for such a sage. We saw a lot of adaptation from both of them to just, like, how weird that stage gets. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, looks like we should be jumping straight into Blitz versus Maxwell here. Is that game nine? Uh, that is game seven. Seven. Yep, so we got this and two more. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the matchup I was actually kind of hoping for. It's a, a Fox Falcon. Mm -hmm. And I think both of, these have been both of these players have been playing very hot today. Blitz and uh, Maxwell, is that what we have next? Yeah. Yep. That's a hype match. I'm excited to see it. Okay. Making sure the other sets are getting readied up. I'm gonna reopen this to make sure it didn't do the thing again.
All right, so Jaxus, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So it looks like mathematically here, Team F1 has taken the victory on this match, but are there implications later on in the league if um, Tertium Link takes more games here? So, yes. So the way the points work is they uh, directly go to... Uh, it, it's sort of like a ladder. It goes into seeding for the finals. Also, okay. Tertium Link is actually not fully out of this. There are three sets left to be played, so there are still six points up for grabs. If they just 3-0... Then it could end at 10-8. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. I was thinking that I got confused and thought that each match was one point. But no, it's it's each game. So yeah, if they 3-0 here mm -hmm. without dropping a game, then they can come back in. Which will be rough. But okay. Let me... <laughs> Slippy, please. Okay, I think I got it. It's just doing the like fast forward to catch up. <laughs> They are in chance of the restarting. Okay. They actually said we restart to Young. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's what you love this. to see going into the. Okay, yeah, they're just restarting. Okay. That's, nice <laughs> that's a good way to, to to start it. Okay, so as a reminder, the next three sets are going to be Blitz, Maxwell, Asa, DJ, KK. And I lost. Yeah, I agree. Barnum has been really sick tonight, Mucha Man. Um, they should be playing in two sets, I believe, right? Yep, that is correct. All right. Yeah, we've been talking almost all night about the Barnum. Oh my god! Oh! No I way. Love, you love to see it. The top two seeded of their team, and they're going for the silly stuff. They're both playing really hot tonight, and man, you can kind of tell. Oh no! Okay, Oof. okay, they made okay, it back. Barely gets barely. escapes from the FD or the the battlefield. I'm actually amazed that that didn't get caught on the lip. Yeah, it took a while, but Blitz took that stock while only taking 25%. That's really solid. Mhm. Mm yeah, I feel like this is also that kind of matchup where like Fox has a million tools to beat Falcon, so it's all about what like kind of high roll gambles Falcon can get a lot of the time. Yeah, Falcon has to make his really rare neutral wins count for a lot more than Fox does. And, and Falcon does have the ability to do it. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. So, and I think, honestly, Maxwell has the ability to do it. I, yeah. We saw on some scene tonight. Yeah, I, Falcon is interesting because he's like uh, the, the Smash equivalent of the FGC big body, where he, like, he lives for a while as long as he doesn't get, like, gimped, you know? And he doesn't generally have tools to control neutral. It's just, ooh, I hit you. Wouldn't it be funny if you instantly died? <laughs> right. I've been seeing Blitz go for a lot of jab up smashes in matchups that aren't like Puff or Peach, which honestly is commendable. I think it's a, like a good little that. frame trap. Yeah, he just does that. It's the, it's the, what you were saying earlier, the nerves, it's a nerves true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because there is stuff you can do out of it, but if you're not ready to, then you will just eat that up smash and die. Mm -hmm. One thing I've seen, uh, out like uh, from what I've seen of Max outside of like the the sets he's played, is uh, his tech chases are pretty good. And I honestly think if he gets a couple of grabs, you can really easily uh, even the stock lead a little bit. Yeah, it's just a matter of finding those against someone as mobile as Fox, and especially Blitz as Fox. Yeah. We have seen, so in the previous games, Maxwell's kind of, like, defining characteristic has been, oops, I, ne uh, I need you, <laughs> out of just absolutely nowhere, and that just hasn't been happening quite as much. <laughs> there was one, but it wasn't quite the same thing, you know? Yeah, Blitz goes for moves on the ground that just stuff that from happening, like his oh, jab, oh. his built and stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, goes for the Blitz, crazy deep shine. Yeah, he does still have the stocks to play with, luckily. Yeah. Of those things you see that? It goes for so many jabs and tilts, and it's, you know, oh, it's pretty tilting when you're playing against him. A blitz showing why he uh, definitely has an argument for best player in the league currently. Yeah, those wave shines are so clean. Mm-hmm. Alright, so blitz up with a 
pretty uh, commanding game one, to be honest. I... Ooh. Ooh. What do you think the odds are that we see Blitz's second character? I think they're very low. I think they're pretty low. <laughs> but not uh, zero. <laughs> I think if you're Blitz here, you're looking just to, to even up the count and... Right, right, yeah. Okay. You know, your, your Fox got a, a, a what, two sock pretty clean. I think mm -hmm. you're, you're sticking with Fox. So I think his other character is Sheik. Oh, and no, he his can... other character oh, is my Zelda. God. It's Zelda. All right, he, all right. He played this against me on game three when we played. And yep, it, he played it this against very scary. me uh, in Grands of that one uh, melee SSF, too. So, it, like, but, he will pull it out for real. <laughs> this is this really is good at sniping uh, really quick rising fares, that sweet spot, and will kill at, like, 50 because yeah. it's yeah. Zelda. That and, uh, like, out of disadvantage fares. Yeah. His recovery with Zelda is also insane. He never gets, like, he doesn't get killed early from edge, edge guards. You have to kill him off the blast zones, mm -hmm. not edge guards. So I I think we're in for a treat. Also, can we just talk about the wild oh, character list really on the side of the tertium link? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Because not only is there a lot of characters, they all have kind of like, or two of them have a pretty viable secondary from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, forward smash. That's not <laughs> insulting if Asa has, like, a crazy deep pocket pick, but uh, I just haven't seen it. Asa will, like, at least in casuals, I've seen them pull out uh, a number of characters, but I think Link is, like, the character they play for real. Yeah. I really love seeing Blitz's Zelda because it, like, plays almost a little bit similar to the Fox, where they're looking for a lot of, like, good hits into the into neutral to lead like a weird follow-up that isn't like 100 percent true but will kill you really early yeah for sure and yep. you know trading a whole lot of mobility for it but it's again a bit of kill power as yeah long as you're, and uh, a bit of kill enough. power and mash up like crazy weird stuff that i'm sure falcon probably doesn't know how to combo zelda and probably hasn't played like the zelda edge guard you know i'm i'm sorry mccurpy derps actually has the most correct take on this matchup Zelda wins it. She has two knees. Falcon only has one. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Ooh, uh, oh, and that one's one all he needed, work. though. We saw the like the really unlucky reverse knee uh, for 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 Blitz, and then this knee comes in again. I think the Maxwell knee is going crazy this week, this uh, this night. Ooh. Right. And dead even, even two stocks to two. Switching out to a secondary after a clean win, and then like being in contention to win again is is such a power move it is especially so the other thing i gotta say uh zelda is such a weird character to fight if you're not used to it um i was lucky enough when i fought against blitz that uh my like main opponent back when i played project m played zelda in that game so i have like hours and hours <laughs> of experience there but if you don't know, like, some of the hitbox shifting stuff on her, uh, like, her kicks, just how fast they are and how early they kill, some of the recovery mix-ups, and also her, her grab is weird. If you yeah. spot dodge her grab, you're probably getting hit because she puts her hands forward twice, and it's the second one that grabs, <laughs> so it just, like, it's bad, but it means it, like, auto-whiff punishes your spot dodge. Also, yeah, her smash attacks are... <sighs> pretty decent too like her down smash is the fastest in the oh. game it comes out in three frames really okay <laughs> i had no idea about that one in this game uh, yeah it's ridiculous oh, oh a, a crazy dbz doesn't end up with a kill for both sides yeah maxwell hanging on to the percent lead and just a lot of wins. i think oh my god there we go i was going to say uh, maxwell is doing one. a very good job of uh anti-bad character tech, which is no, you have to approach me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Especially on Falcon where you can whiff punish these kind of like laggy moves that a lot of bad characters have. Mm hmm Alright, there's it. Oh boy. Oh that my god. Is so much worse in this game than in PM. Holy Playing god. against Blitz, <laughs> it's like, really you'll be in advantage for the whole game, and then one rising fair into another rising fair just kills you, and like, you have no clue what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Blitz is also amazing in last stock. He is good under pressure. Especially on a comfort character, I can I can imagine. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, tried to oh. call out the double jump. Good hesitation there by Blitz. And Max, like, he's got good the percent slide lead, off there. and... Oh, oh my gosh. Kill. Oh. I mean, hey, like we were saying, Max's superpower is, oops, found a knee. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm All right, really now... curious as to what the characters are, because we I... see a win with Fox, we see a loss with Zelda, but if you're switching to Zelda, I I'm imagining there's some sort of nerve thing that's preventing you from playing Fox. I, I just don't know where you are, honestly. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I Blitz seems like the kind of player who could just be like, I don't know, I'm feeling Zelda right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that too. Uh, they went to Battlefield Game 1, right? Or... Oh, I can't remember. A... I... Yeah, okay, it was Battlefield. No, Asa, he actually just plays Zelda a lot. Like, it's not memes. He plays yep. it a lot. Yep. I have seen that character come out enough times, but okay, we are back to the fox here for the final game of this set. I like, actually, I really like picking your secondary in the second game, and then being able to choose the stage for your primary. True. Because I can't imagine that Zelda versus, <laughs> versus Captain Falcon is fun on FD. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, fox versus Captain Falcon on FD is, is, is a pretty good pick. It's a blast. Like this, oh like we're gosh, seeing this not quite killing. Blitz is just destroying with these like uh, really like uh, good follow-ups. Yeah, Falcon's got nowhere to go on this stage. No platinum or plat no platinums to move <laughs> no around platinums. on platforms. Oh, oh nice! Max finds the knee again. You know, That's just his character, dude. With a low knee. Yeah. Oh, actually, this I will be interested to see. Something one of you guys mentioned earlier was uh, Max has. Pretty good reaction tech chases if he can get the grab. This is the stage for that if he's got him. Yeah, if he gets like a couple of good early percent up throws and down throws, I I really can see a stock just evaporating from Blitz. Mm -hmm. We did already see that like Blitz was just dominating that first stock and also died first. So yeah, Max and being real see... patient over there. Yeah, Max is like changing to a much more defensive playstyle, using those da uh, dash dances to try to make a uh, blitz commit to an undershoot or, or or missing his overshoot, and it's probably a smart move uh, against a fox that's playing like this. Yeah, for sure. And blitz with a very clean stock there, twenty five percent. Also, the incredible confidence to just stand there while uh, Max is going for grab. Oh, we've that? seen Max go for the side view a couple times, and it hasn't really hit the games he's played, but that time it does, and it leads to a pretty hefty amount of percent. Oh no, he didn't... He landed, like, oh. the frame before it was out. Spacing was there and everything, but timing matters too, for sure. Walk up slowly and forward smash? Yo. Yep. Just do it again? Okay, Max... Oh, he gets oh over, God. but yeah, good pullback by Blitz to just cover the ledge, and this is going uh, back pretty solidly in Blitz's favor. The shot. Oh, 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 you don't. You he hate to see that happen. He caught his double jump Dang. too. Oh my gosh. So if I'm the tertium link, I'm like, yo, you kind of destroyed with Fox. Why did you go Zelda and lose the game for it? <laughs> okay, it was like, okay, when, let's be when, real. If there is a team who is down for that, it's going to be tertium link. <laughs> when I, when I played Blitz, I started Ganon versus Fox. He killed me. I played Peach, I won the second game, and then we went Peach Zelda third game. It was four characters in three <laughs> games. <laughs> but said sorry team. <laughs> yeah, bring out the Zelda one time. Honestly, I'm that's I'm so in favor of that. That's that's a sick thing to do. Okay, well, next up we are going to have the other Link Luigi. A lore pick, yep. My favorite thing is when you see a Zelda start to spawn in, and you think they might have forgot to press the Sheik button, and then they just don't transform. They just like they're just playing Zelda. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we are waiting for DJ KK to show up. Uh oh. Uh, like, sorry, not show oh, up they've been in here. general. All right, we got the double mix-up. DJ KK was accidentally trying to connect to Dr. Dre. And Asa oh. typed the name incorrectly. <laughs> oh no! Well, hey, they got it figured out. That's what matters, right? So this is another Link Luigi, which, honestly, an ex like an exciting mashup from what I saw last time. Yeah, I'm for really sure. excited to see what Asa does with some of their more specific, like deeper knowledge on Link, especially with their crazy combos they do against floaties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be a fun one to watch for sure. Hopefully they'll uh, be able to get connected here in just a second. E-roll. 
Maxwell, how do you feel about the Sheik matchup? I know a lot of Falcons, like when they're on their come up, they hate Sheik. How, how do you feel about it? I think it's just a lot of players in general on the come up hate Sheik. All right, <laughs> here we go. I accidentally Man, the wrong button. We saw, the there we go. We're seeing some crazy edge cancels in the hand warmers from Asa, edge canceling down air. Mm -hmm. And I think we saw the moonwalk in, in one of their sets. Yeah, someone had tapped and it out. Got pretty hyped about the moonwalk. Man, the Z catches. I, I just I could watch Asa just run around battlefield solo for like hours. The misfire uses it in the hand warmers. Oh no, unfortunate. Hey, well, one, you gotta get stock of those, you know. You need to if save them. If anyone hits a misfire in this link game, it's I'm, I'm expecting at least one last stock just to go to a misfire. Imagine. Game three, last stock. From one RNG character to another, I just I can feel the 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 misfire flowing right now. All right, looks like we are about to get into it. About to get it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Freezer Lich? Yup. What's up? Freeze Glitch. Freeze Glitch. <laughs> the, the, the rare Luigi Freeze Glitch. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. They're playing. <laughs> Luigi good, good, good 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 not getting not, not hitting them. Y'all is uh, good to be kind. That way you don't need to rewind. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But Fountain for the first pick here is... Is this what we saw for game one last time too? Or was this the counter pick? I think it was Fod. Interesting. We've seen a lot of melee though. I, we have, I, I yeah. honestly can't remember. There's <laughs> plenty to go as well. I'm here for it. These mm -hmm. sets have all been really sick for one reason or another. Oh, I'm just realizing... Uh, anyways, later. I, I just realized I have eaten one meal today. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, he hits the bomb though, so we have, he should... Do we have two casters here if you need to take a break? Uh, I might. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the question is, can I acquire food while also running the stream? Oh, yeah. But we'll see. We'll figure that out afterwards. For right now, uh, I really thought DJ KK was going to wave dash in and do the taunt to cover that last recovery. <laughs> <laughs> And it looks like Ace oh, is good having some cancel. trouble like, dealing with the mobility again, kind of like we saw out of the last set, but yeah. yeah, it seems like he has a lot more counterplay and like ways to control I think space. it just like unlocked for Asa that Crouch Cancel will beat a lot of these like low hitting or, or low percent Luigi moves that he uses out of the wave dash, mm -hmm. and I think that's like a big tool for him because getting that free hit on Luigi is, is important. Man, these just empty wave dash baits from DJKK there. Again, having the presence to kind of stay out of the way of that down air. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what happened when you play against two Luigi's in one night. <laughs> or two links, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, two links. Well, that's right. DJKK might get a buff here by having already played a link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, match fixing buff, <laughs> link buff, like I <laughs> seems kind of stack. Misfire buff? Well, hey, at least Dre's not on screen to also get the format. Oh. Nice recovery. What a great save. It's an Asa recovery. Every time I think Asa dies, they recover, and it, it, it's incredible to watch. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't realize you could tether that late out of the air dodge. I thought it had to be immediate. No, there's a little bit of delay gotcha. you can mix it with. Oh, and that down air connect. Oh, it's tracking nice, like, down. Nice, like, weave through the platforms. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm gonna get you. You can't <laughs> run. Yeah, secretly it's homing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the upbeat attempt. It would have covered every option there except for roll to the left. Blitz giving respect to his opponent and also kind of jawning a little bit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, yeah, down throw, down air. I was about to ask what confirms uh, Link has that aren't, you know, like, bomb into something. DJKK gonna get punished a decent bit here. Oh, okay, actually, it doesn't oh, take too much kills off the top. Yeah, I think bomb setups like that are real in this game, but they're not as real as they are in new Smash games, where they're, like, Link's, like, well, bread and butter, you the know? The bombs themselves also feel a little bit weaker in this game. I don't know if that's Definitely. true or not, but, it, like, that's what it feels like facing it. So I was gonna say, like, what is Link looking for in this situation? And if your entire, like, threat is... I'm going to, like, up B or smash attack, or I'm going to hit you with a bomb into something, then that's, like, fairly linear. Yeah. Yeah, you can bomb into, like, down airs at high percents. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe some other stuff. Oh. Definitely a or Dre could tell you more about that, I'm sure. But yeah, The I... Luigi counter hit is pretty strong. I think Ace is trying to go for the, the down throw down air confirm that works on a lot of characters, but Luigi's a little bit too fast. Oh, I just... Yeah, Luigi Nair. Mm-hmm. Does a lot of good work, for sure. Okay, so we have Final Destination Ban by Luigi, which makes sense because he has the mobility, but... He has to throw himself headfirst into the mobility, and <laughs> that sounds like not a good place for that. Right, and we once again see the Link counterpick battlefield. Yeah, I guess the recovery just is not as bad as we were assuming. And I mean, I guess we saw that from Asa last time too, but... <laughs> yeah, Asa knows how to do it. If, if anyone can do it, Asa can. Right, DJ KK, though, is doing a really good job of, like, weaving around these aerials and staying in ranges where Asa feels like they have to commit. But, you know, you're Link, so the stuff's really laggy if it misses. <laughs> nice raw- Ooh, wow, that killed. Let's read on the tech chase, though. And this is now actually a, an okay spot for Asa, because one of the main issues is just trading with, like, Luigi Nair all the time. But he's a full stock up. He's just going for extra credit now. So at this point, it's like, oh, okay, cool, you hit Nair. Uh, this is still like a 50-50, where if I call it right, you take a bunch more damage. And if you yeah. bait the Nair and if he can out, hold on to that for the rest of the game, it can like it, that could translate into the win for him. Yeah, Link definitely seems like the sort of character, sort of like Peach, where if you're in a spot where you're up and can trade, it's like extra, extra good. Yeah. But he's like, he's heavy, he has wonky recovery stuff. He doesn't mind trading with bombs. He all misses that. the the up throw before he just the up e. Yeah, Rosebrack uh, misplays Peach. Yep. Ooh, okay. Nice crouch cancel on the down smash, but that is the thing about Luigi. He just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit close to the uh, invincible Luigi there, but hey. It was. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hard because, uh, you know, I think I have peach privilege of, like, when I, when someone's respawning, I can just, like, float away. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when, when there's just a wave dashing invincible Luigi coming at you <laughs> with a down smash, like, what honestly are you supposed to do? Well, he can't wave dash if he's in the air, so, yeah, just go <laughs> up next to what is invincible. <laughs> well, Aklo has shown that Link has, like, a super broken uh, spot dodge, so that is something that Asa could pull out. True, true. In that situation. I, DJ KK was so focused on the link there that he just did <laughs> not recognize the boomerang at all. Also a little bit relevant, Aklo also has a sick link. Like, actual secondary. Yeah. Yeah, yep, it's I cracked. I wonder if he has ever played this match. <laughs> Like, I assume so, but yeah. <laughs> it's a if, rare if one If you play too sure. much melee, eventually you play against a, a Luigi once or twice. <laughs> Asa is getting a lot of mileage off of these grabs. It seems to be like, you know, it's high risk, but when they're connecting, it's definitely paying off, and it's, I think, been his most consistent combo starter so far. Yeah, we're really seeing Asa, t uh, like, turn online here. I think that they're, like, taking some more time to make sure Luigi's always a little bit out of reach and, and using these bombs and oh, that misfire coming out. But, yeah, really playing 
Oh, Ooh, that, was, nice. that was night and day from what we saw the first game. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, DJ KK managed to get sort of an early stock there to minimize the lead <laughs> okay. advantage that we were talking about. Yeah, sometimes you just input it and you're like, I don't know, they might get antsy. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you, you never, you never oh. like lose on a trade until you sell. Alright, also, uh, <laughs> yeah. DJ KK, this stock is just on a tear. Yeah, yeah I just want to remind everybody that DJ KK, I don't think has lost a game tonight. You know, yeah, you might be right. True. Okay, he has now been hit on this stock. Twice. That's yeah, it. really like, bringing it back see. here. Because they both are kind of warming up now, I'm really interested to see if, if DJ KK can keep this up. Even up B? Okay, won't kill. Okay. If anyone gets back from this, it's Luigi. He has, like, so much recovery uh, height distance. Yeah. Yeah, DJKK's recovery is also really good for oh, Luigi. Up another brutal up B. Really just looking for, like, any stray hit here, like a smash attack Nice or a delay counter. there to, like, wait oh. out the ledge grab. Got something started. Oh, oh my gosh. Barely down misses. Down. This is so scary. This is down the line because any hit here is really going to lead into something oh big. My oh, my gosh. gosh. It it's caught him tech. out of his jump. He got battlefielded, dude. I can't dude. believe that it hit that way. <laughs> uh, uh, Blitz is asking in the chat who's seated higher, DJ or Blitz? Uh, I believe Maxwell. Or Maxwell, I meant. Maxwell uh, is the higher seed. Yeah. yeah. Again, the, the seating is like, on some teams it's pretty specific, on others it's not. Uh, we didn't have the exact same number of people in each, like, bracket, for example. Um, so some teams have, like, the teams with newer players generally have the other two players like trending slightly upward. And yeah, DJ KK though um, has, to be honest, rocketed up from yeah. like the very start of the league. Okay, I've got a real question. Oh, All right, is this game nine? It's Barnum versus Dre. That was a really good be the though. final set of this match coming up after this game here. <laughs> it hurt me is a good point. Do not let the Mario brothers play their game. They've had yeah. a lot of experience in the limelight, them two brothers. True. <laughs> also, Luigi... I don't know too much about Mario, but uh, I have fought some Luigis <laughs> in my time. If you let him play the game where he can move around and abuse his like legitimately really good mobility and all that sort of stuff, and if you go for combos that are narrable, he feels like so much better of a character than he actually is. Um, but if you know, like, if you can consistently kind of just put low committal options in the way of where he's moving, and if you yeah. start, like, baiting out the nares into oopsies, hit you with an F smash, uh, <laughs> suddenly he dies. <laughs> Yeah, and Jaxus, that's exactly right for the Luigi matchup, and like, I haven't been seeing too much of that for people who have been fighting against DJKK yet. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like the way you need to fight him. Oh, just, just barely out of that sweet spot. Yeah. Like, as a fox, you can like, drill his wave dash when he comes in. I think, and you know, Link could possibly stuff with like, bombs or projectiles or anything like that. Stuff the Luigi wave dashing in. I have returned. <laughs> also, that down B is yeah. like I think safe on shield. By the way, <laughs> I, I might yeah, be wrong. Yeah, it there. feels safe, safe on shield a lot of the times when you get hit by it because you just try to get a grab and they hit you with another down smash. Yeah. <laughs> it Man, 4% apart until that forward air right there. This is what you love to see out of a game 3. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of down air attempts from Asa. Uh, I really would like to see them revert more to their bomb gameplay, because when they get the bombs out, they're getting some pretty nice confirms. Like, oh! Yeah, speaking of which, going, they, they going really for tried clips. to go for it there. Does this kill the Link? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the bomb goes the wrong way. I think that a B was a bit of a panic. Even if it hit, it wasn't going to lead to very much at low percent on the opposite side of the stage. Ooh, dash attack. 
safe though. <laughs> Yo, that clanks and keeps going? I think Blitz has showed us tonight that he just doesn't have enough respect for Luigi. I think that's what's going on here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the back hit of forward air saving Ace's life a bit. And nice... So that... Getting to Neko again, by the way. Um, but that was a really good, like, height on that tether. Because it popped up right... At, Ooh. Unfortunately, just a little bit too close. Link does have a couple of issues, even with his powerful recovery. Uh, that definitely being one of them. If you hookshot from too close, it just breaks instantly. That's so weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, gets the quick down air though. Nice. Yeah, down air. Alright, there's a mountain, but I think Asa could do it. I think so too. Uh, it is a little bit unfortunate because, like we were talking about last game, uh, you want to be up and be able to trade as Link in general. Right. Without having to make a comeback for all the normal. <laughs> oh, let's go with the Asa bomb setup. I've seen that Both happen a couple times. Even though it's way down in percent. <laughs> Both times that's happened to me, I've gotten hit and I got really surprised and almost died. It's so funny to watch. Alright, yeah. Asa saying, this set might be an uphill, but I can still get a clip out of it. Yeah. <laughs> it can still totally farm you for Twitter and yeah. respectable. Hey, if you gotta make a comeback, you gotta psych yourself up, you know? True, true. All right, Hanging the on triple the short wave I, dash I in the ball. Oh, I think that... Okay. Oh, that... Nope. nope. The down air! Oh the homing down air, again! If anyone does this, it's Asa. So, like, we've been seeing That's some so crazy setups to go, in. But, like, yeah, I'm starting to believe. Oh, He's alive. Oh, oh no, so the sweet close. Spot. Battlefield comes back to, to bite. Yup. Man, seeing somebody win on a stage and then the run back happens, and then, you know, they lose on that stage, it's really, it's really, uh, you know, hard to watch. Okay, well, we are on to the last match of, or the last set of this <laughs> match, while I look at the clock and die inside. Uh, <laughs> have to be up for SSF tomorrow. <laughs> but, okay, so we got Barnum versus Dre. But then the question is, where is Dre? Not like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll hey, up the next Friday. Barnum coming up. Yeah, I, I think Mucho's okay, okay, been waiting for a, for a Barnum set. Yeah. And Barnum is playing crazy good tonight, so... Yeah, Barnum on fire, and not like just playing hot, but like just playing significantly better than last time we saw them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, always... That's, exactly so you that's one of the... Like, one of my favorite things about these kickstart leagues is because there's always so many new players, like, brand new. Um... The, like, the skill difference each week is really cool to watch. Okay, so as soon as this button warmer ends, we're good. Uh, also, as a quick heads up for everyone in the stream... Oh my god, did you see what Asa said about... Perps DK, we gotta see this salty sweet. I swear, <laughs> you guys gotta play this. Sorry, Jackson, please continue. Okay, versus... That sounds like a horrible matchup. Uh, anyways, what I was gonna say is, uh, because it is getting so late, the next match, uh, Kalo has to go to bed. So, we're going to start... So, I guess, we're gonna do this, and then we are going to do Kalo versus Kirijin. Uh, and then we are just going to run all of Kalos' sets back to back. Alright. What are we doing about the uh, other match? The Team uh versus uh, 
Air, is it Air Dashers or who are they playing? Rat Team? Uh, so they're up against Rat Team, and yeah, we'll just be. Oh, sorry. So Kalu is on Rat Team, and so they'll okay. just be doing their matches against Team Uh real quick. But as long as Karajan's still around, uh, we'll have him do that, and then these three. Anyways, into this match though. Yeah, Herp's DK is very experienced in salty sweets. You should be scared. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I love the FD pick here. This is going to be an interesting one to watch. Yeah, so this matchup, I mean, we saw a little bit of it last time. Uh, Barnum opting to go for the lasers. And it seems really effective. But I feel like Dre has almost had, overall, a slightly more effective, like, defense camping game. Yeah. Gesa likes to go for the much more aggressive options. Link doesn't have a chain grab on the spaces, does he? That grab's no. gonna be too slow. He yeah. has a universal chain grab. <laughs> okay, <being> done. okay. <laughs> nice. doing TO stuff over here as well. Right, so, and Barnum, I don't know what percent Link probably kills Falco at. I was going to say approaching kill percent, but like maybe <laughs> <Yeah>. not. <laughs> nice sweet spot on the lid. I'm just reading chat. There's some wild stuff going down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, oh my gosh, just the run up forward smash. Yeah, three stocks apiece. Barnum definitely has the percent lead here. And this feels like a matchup where that's going to be real big, barring any yeah. major gimps. Well, they can both gimp each other, whether it's Link's up B against Falco or Falco down airing uh, yeah. for recovering Link. But Dre, it looks like he's having so much trouble just closing the distance against this Falco. Yeah, yeah. FD's really, I think, being a problem right now. Mm -hmm. Just how 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 much distance there is to cover. Oh, and there's the up B, and yeah, tried to tech it. Nope. Yeah, he's so questioning why his teammate with, with and FD. Stage, yeah, okay. And Dre just only up basically a full stock. Yeah, doing some good work. Mm -hmm. That is the very scary part about being a Falco against anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of like we were talking about uh, in Dre's last game, they're going for up B. Wow, what a series of hits there. Um, but they're going for up B a lot. And in the past, it was one of those things where, like, it was getting baited out, and then he was just getting, like, murdered for it. But Barnum doesn't quite have the same punish game as, like, uh, let me make sure I have the teams right, but I think, like, uh, Blitz and stuff like that. So Dre's yeah. able to get away with it a little bit more here. And it's probably yeah, it was Max Ball who was really punishing the yeah, okay. for going for upbees. Yeah. Oh, down air will not quite kill. That yeah, I'm seeing matchup inexperience be a problem for Barnum a little bit here because um, Barnum, Basically. they're going for pillars and it's not working. It's just not working against Link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, uh, I can't really blame them for matchup inexperience. Both no. by way of being new and by your fighting Link. <laughs> yeah. But... yeah, absolutely. Not a common matchup. Except for in Melee Kickstart League. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, trying to fight that on, on FD, just like right off the bat, if it's like your first time in that matchup, is, is just a really hard like environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not first it, time, but like new. It's something you need to get into Uncle Punch and like work on for a bit of time. It's not something you just bust out <laughs> in a set. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it looks like... <laughs> well, that's interesting. So, as happens a decent amount, actually, with new players, uh, they both went to ban, and they both banned Yoshis. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I, I really like that. Because right. then you kind of think you did something wrong. <laughs> yeah, you like, know. Why do we both want the stage going? <laughs> Alright, this could be the final game of the night. Well, sorry, not the night. Uh, the final game of this match. <laughs> um, Definitely not the last game of the night. Imagine everything coming down to Falco versus Link. <laughs> yeah. Only here at the Kickstart League, you know? Yeah. But it feels like uh, Barnum is still getting a pretty good like, setup for their laser game? And yeah, Dre's I think... just... Yeah, you notice Barnum just runs to the corner and sets up lasers, and that's really hard for Link to do anything about. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have great mobility, uh, his projectiles all have a bit of startup. Yeah. Sure! Oh, just yeah, that'll the top platform. <laughs> Aerial up I'm so into that. And a grounded one! Is this...? Okay, no, didn't uh, quite run far enough, enough but edge. yeah, had the right idea for sure. Down air. Okay, yeah, rolls through the up air. Like Falco up air isn't the scariest thing in the world. It's not that powerful, really. Oh, the dash attack goes up, and Incredible. Falco, being the fast faller that he is, the way melee gravity works uh, is actually very different from later <laughs> Smash games. Uh, having higher, like, base gravity for your character makes you live longer from vertical hits. That is only the case in Melee. Yeah, it's it's so funny. Oh my gosh, it's the like... bomb just covering it, yeah. Barnum having to roll into it to, you know, deal with getting hit by bomb instead of, like, up B. <laughs> uh, no, Ross Brack, one of these teams has two links, the other one has a Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were. We, we, it's a good. It's a good bracket. Mhm. Mm I I do like the. Uh, it's like a slower version of what Marth can do. But if you're under the center platform here, you can just be like, "I'm going to jump and up B, and it will either connect or I will land up there. Stay away." Yeah. <laughs> We've been seeing Barnum almost do like. Yeah, the pillar combo where he gets to shine and then just keep shining them instead of going for a down air or something. And honestly, like, it, it kind of works. Mm -hmm. Hey, we finally, oh, we saw let's go one. The shield. Yep. So, for any, right, because we have some brand new to melee people here. Uh, Link and Young Link, their shield will actually just block projectiles if it collides with the shield itself. Someone, like, recently blocked my Stitch with their shield, and I almost rage quit. I was, I was so <laughs> upset. <laughs> All right. Oh, the up smash coming very close to hitting, just not quite. Yeah, this is, like, despite all the back and forth, this is only a 10% difference across this game. Yeah, we're at f five minutes, and it's only been a stock apiece. The way this neutral is going is just so... I am very methodical. astounded yeah. Dre did not up be there. <laughs> methodical is the right word. Oh, nice angle there from Barnum to both dodge it and not get hit by the late hits. Oh! Yeah, no, you, have to, you have to have some really good angles. And when you're below stage on Battlefield, when you don't have like the, the wedge to kind of go up against, it's, it's really tough. Mm-hmm. Right. Ooh, first Misses hit forward jump, smash, not the second. Forward. Yeah, I like sword smash doesn't actually combo into itself like ever, right? <laughs> not really, no. Really? Okay. Maybe if you're like trying really hard to crouch cancel something, but you know. Well, I guess it combos if the first hit uh break shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. That you go. <laughs> that's a, that's applicable in game too. Oh, that happens the all the late time. hit oh. there there? Alright. Does everybody here know about like the the Link Nair jank? I of it yeah. just like existing forever. Yeah. That's we, so funny. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen that in action more. Yeah, especially against some of the recoveries that we've had here. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Link's neutral air hitbox is bugged. It just the uh, the call to make the hitbox go away just doesn't work correctly. Basically, yeah, so, so it he stops animating. 
Uh, yep. But the hitbox is still there all the For way until he's actionable. Time. Um, Rossbrack, it doesn't quite work because Falco can mix up laser heights and then hit Link like in his boots or in his head and it just it misses the Hillian shield. Yeah, this is actually uh, what I was saying earlier about how I'd like to see- Oh no! Okay, makes it back, just barely. That would have been a real tragic way for it all to end. Oh, the bomb! Okay, and almost did like the, the Ace of right, Junior right. of like bombing themselves into- a crazy hitbox. Yeah, so and this is last off of match two. As a reminder, Dre is up here. So if Dre wins this, that is the end of this whole match. If Barnum takes it, then they get at least one oh, point this on could the be board. It. And they manage to go into a game three. <gasps> oh, the... Okay, get some percent. Yeah, you really need a rack on oh, oh, that's yeah, gonna be it. Great recognition from not Dre. the laser you want. But with that. We will be walking out of here. Match is complete. Team really F1 close score. taking 11 points. Tertium Link taking 9. So the way that this works in total is each of these teams get that amount added to their like total overall league score. Uh, Team F1 will also get a slight bonus by way of having won the set. But thank you all for watching. Stick around. We're going to be going straight into more melee. <laughs> <laughs> Or melee. Oh no.